Well, it is game on now for adult arcade operators in Jacksonville. They're fighting back against the city shutdown of the game rooms, which started today. Code inspectors and the sheriff's office, they've gone to some rooms informing the operators that they've got five days to remove illegal machines. But as Jim Pickett shows us, those game room owners, they're taking the issue to court. Now I'm inside Moncrief Amusements. We're here at uh, Moncrief in Edgewood. This is one of the first sites that the city came around today. They issued a cease and desist order. They don't have to shut this down right now. The city is saying they've got to remove what they call simulated gambling devices like this fish tables and some of the machines that appear to look like slot machines. The city believes that those are illegal and they say they have five days in order to remove it. But the game rooms have hired an attorney and they're not taking this line down. Both the city and operators are going round and round when it comes to the game rooms. This morning, code enforcement and the sheriff's department hit several sites. Louis Vizquez of Moncrief Amusement says the city came this morning and issued a cease and desist order. It says that this facility may be operating a simulated gambling device and has given them five days to remove it. They gave you five days. They gave us five and, days. And then five days, what are you going to do? We got to either pack up and, and, and go or see what happens with the... Uh, if these lawsuits go through with injunctions, stuff like that, hopefully it stops this. Good. We're hoping. That hope lies with this attorney, Kelly Mathis, who's been involved in the game room fight since the start. Today, he entered the game again by filing an emergency injunction, asking a federal judge to put a stop to this latest enforcement. He says the game room operators have no rights under the new legislation. First of all, it's an emergency that under this ordinance, they have no rights to protest, they have no procedural due process rights. The ordinance is not clear as to what games it cover, what it doesn't cover, what is defined as a, quote, simulated gambling machine, as something that may be in a casino, something that may be associated with gambling. Every sports event is associated with gambling. Are they now illegal? Courts were closed today because of the holiday, but Mathis is hoping for a hearing or a ruling this week. The city still is working to shut them down, and by the weekend, many of these rooms should be closed. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station. And late this afternoon, city officials told News for Jackson they're still compiling numbers of the locations targeted today.